Hey guys, welcome back to Shop and More with Kimberly and Santos. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my entire perfume collection. So if you like these kind of videos, I hope you stay and subscribe. And if you do, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our uploads. And be sure to check out my other collection video. I did my entire fine fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret. And then I did my entire body cream slash lotion slash body butters um, from uh, Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and start off with these minis right here. So the first one is, I have a Sunset Glow, Sunset Glow, and then I have Midnight Amber Glow, and then I have Butterfly, Sunshine Mimosa, I wish they would bring this one back for um, the summertime and spring. Gingham Vibrant, Gingham Fresh. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a full size, so all I have is just this mini right here, which I'm using sparingly. I'm not really using it right now because it is winter time. And then I have Butterfly, and then I have uh, Luminous. and another butterfly okay so those are all my mini perfumes let's get started with the rest of the collection so the first one is ariana grande and this one is a uh, sweet like candy this this little poof is cute but it kind of gets in the way of you know everything <laughs> But it's cute. I'm going to leave it on there. Um, you can remove it. I don't know if you guys know that or not. It has a little clip right there where you can remove it. So, But I'm just going to leave it on. And then we have, I just got this one right here. It's by Britney Spears. It's the um, Midnight Fantasy. And I love the color of the bottle. It's stunning. So pretty, and the camera's not doing it justice. And the next one is a Juicy Couture. Um, Juicy Couture, I think it's Juicy Couture, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. And this one right here, it, the bottle is absolutely gorgeous as well. Um, this one is by Dolly Parton. Um... I think it's called Sunset Dreams, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, I'll go ahead and um, put it on the uh, screen. But I love the butterfly. That is so pretty. And this one is a true vanilla scent. It's so good. And I'm trying not to move the camera too, too much, guys. So bear with me. And this one right here, oh my god, look at the liquid already. It's gotten super dark. This is um, the Arabian one, the Coco Musk. I wonder how it's macerated by now. I'm, I'm thinking that it's pretty strong by now because look at the liquid. It was not this dark. So, mm, I wonder if it's super sweet. And the next one is another Juicy Couture. Um, this one's the gold one. It smells like uh, caramel and I think vanilla, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this one's really good. And my sister gifted, gifted it to me for my birthday. I want to say thank you, Jennifer, if you're watching. I appreciate you. And this is the bigger bottle. So, and this one pair, pairs beautifully with, from Bath and Body Works, it pairs beautifully with this one right here, Gingham Heart of Gold, yes. And this one has notes of, it's hard to 
There we go. Crisp golden apple, creamy vanilla bean, and warm sandalwood. Yeah. Those two are like a match made in heaven. Okay, so the next one is um, Coco Paradise from Bath and Body Works. Love that one. Well, actually all of these I love. That's why I have them. <laughs> and the next one is Pure Wonder. This is the one from last year. And... Next is Among the Clouds, and I use this quite a bit because I'm obsessed with it. it has a pretty huge dent in it, honestly. And the next one is from Target. This one is the, um, the Whipped Almond... Uh, I forget who makes it. Oh, Mix Bar. Duh, Mix Bar. This one, oh, is so good. It's a sweet almond. And if you love almond scents, you have to get this one in your collection. It's so good. If you do get the uh, whipped almond one um, from Mix Bar, it pairs beautifully with this one right here. Um, almond Blossom from Bath and Body Works. It's so freaking good. It's uh, everything. I love sweet almond scents. Okay, so the next perfume is this one right here by Victoria's Secret. It's Victoria's Secret Bombshell Summer. And I love the bottle on this one. It's so summery and pretty. And the next one is um, Victoria's Secret Bombshell in Bloom. And the next one is a butterfly from Bath and Body Works. And the next one is Perfect Peony. And I wish they would bring this one back. I'm trying not to use her a lot because we don't even know if she's going to come back or not. Yeah, um, I try to use her sparingly. Um, it has a little dent in it. In it. Um, because we don't know if BBW is going to bring her back. And this one is so good. It's perfect for summertime and spring. Um, especially springtime because it's a sweet floral. And oh, she's so good. I actually want the three-wick candle. Maybe they'll bring it out for candle day. Who knows? And then the next one is no other than Dahlia. I am so happy that I picked her up when I did, when she first came out, because she is so freaking good. Ugh. Obsessed with Dahlia. So, so good, guys. And then the next one is Midsummer Dream. This one is a beachy, summery scent, and I am obsessed, and I hope they bring her back. Because this one's so fresh and just uh, so crisp. I love the pear note that it has in it. And it's so freaking good. It lasts all day and I get so many compliments. And look at the lid on that. The camera is not doing it justice. That's so pretty. Love it. Okay, and the next one is... I have the OG Gingham. And I have bought this one when it had first, first came out. Um few years ago and I'm almost done unfortunately so pretty I love the cute little bow on there I'm obsessed I love gingham and this one is no other than a saltwater breeze um I had to buy this off Macari because I wasn't able to scoop it up in store but I only paid like 20 bucks for it so in my opinion, that was a steal of a deal. I love this beachy, salty, airy, aquatic scent. It's perfect for summertime. Obsessed. And the next one is um, Gingham Vibrant. This is the only Gingham that I had purchased um, when they came out with um, Gingham Gorgeous, Gingham Vibrant, and Gingham Fresh. Um, I actually wanted the whole collection, especially Gingham Fresh, but I wasn't able to scoop it up. I only have the mini and I am so sad. I might have to buy it off Macari because 
She is something that you want to have in your collection, especially if you love a uh, fresh, like right out the shower type scents, and it has a beautiful pear note. Uh, if you love pear notes, you need that one in your collection. She is so good. But this one is really good as well. It has a floral uh, berry type scent. And uh, yeah, it's so good. And look at the beautiful bow. I love when they add the, the gingham print bows on it. It's so pretty. And then on top, it has that heart. So cute. This one's gingham vibrant, guys. Okay, and then the next one is Gingham Love. This is another good one. Um, she is a sweet, um, sweet floral scent. Um, she is perfect for Valentine's Day, for a date night out with your hubby or boyfriend. Um, she does project she does last and i get so many compliments um somebody thought i was wearing like a high-end perfume and i was like no i'm just wearing a perfume from bath and body works and it's called gingham love but thank you though <laughs> it made me smile i got really excited when she told me that but yeah it has the same heart as gingham vibrant and i love the gingham bow of course that's so stinking cute and yeah, this one is amazing. I hope they bring this one back because, oh, she is so freaking good, guys. I cannot get enough of that one. I should have got like two or three backups of the spray because she's that good. And I'm not sure if I uh, shared these in my, um, when I did my Fine Fragrance Smiths collection. So I'm going to go ahead and share it anyhow. This one is the Sol de Janeiro number 62. And she is, she has pistachio and salted caramel. And she has other notes as well. Pistachio, almond, heliotrope, jasmine petals, vanilla, salted caramel, and sandalwood. And she smells like um, Sunset Glow from Bath and Body Works, just without the cherry seltzer note. So beachy, so summery, and smells like a bronze goddess, and I am obsessed. And here's another one I am obsessed with. Um, she's actually my scent of the day. It's the number 71 by Sol de Janeiro. This one is caramelized vanilla and macadamia. And she has other notes. Caramelized vanilla, sea salt, toasted macadamia nut, white chocolate, tonka bean, and coconut blossom. And this was my scent of the day. Um, I think I had mentioned that a few minutes ago. But I paired her with... I layered her with the Christmas Cookies Body Cream. And I also paired her with the Victoria's Secret Bear Vanilla Candied. Uh, yeah, this scent combo is freaking phenomenal. You'll smell like a, you'll smell so delicious. You'll smell like a snack. Everybody will be all over you. They'll, they'll be asking you what you're wearing because it's that freaking good. And I highly recommend that combo if you have you know all three scents in your collection if not then you can just do christmas cookies and the uh, victoria's secret one or vice versa you can do the number 71 with the christmas cookies or you can even do like strawberry snowflakes this one right here with the bare vanilla candied i mean there's so many scent combos that you can do that will be freaking phenomenal but yeah that is it for my uh perfume collection I hope you guys enjoyed it. If y'all did, give it a thumbs up. And the next thing I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to do a little haul. So stay tuned for that. I picked up a few more gingerbread items that I wanted to share with you guys. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys real, real soon. Y'all have a great night. Bye. Love y'all.